Hey guys, it is raining and it's freezing in Alabama. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about your grow out coop and what your grow out coop looks like. I'm going to show you my grow out coop and let me show you what I have to do because when this coop was made, I was new at chickens and I didn't really know how to design it. So, I want to show you what I have to do. So, hang on just a minute. Okay. This is my chicken tractor that I can move around. So, let's talk about these birds. So, here they are. Right? And they're in here. And if you notice, they're not going inside to roost. And let's talk about why. So, as you guys know, chickens don't go roost right off the bat, right? So, this is their third day in this new coop. So, what happens is Judy has to climb in that coop in the mud and the rain and the wet and the cold to put them in the bed. So, when you're designing a grow out coop, make sure that you can walk in the coop to get the baby chicks to put them inside at night. If not, you're gonna be like me and you're gonna have to go in there and chase them. Lesson from so Judy. Of course, they're under there, which means I have to crawl in this and chase them to get them. So that's gonna be a disaster. So you're gonna watch. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna put you down. So here I am. And I have to crawl in here like this. And the chicken poop in mud. Yeah. That was well thought out. <laughs> now I gotta crawl back and put my knee down. And I'm too Okay, and put them in there. Now, as you see, I'm on my knees. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> you got a man handling the chickens. And then you go crawl back up. Hey, jack eggs, how about learn going in at night? Okay? And then I close the coop. Now, you ready? You see what my knees look like? This is what I look like. So, when you decide that you're gonna build a chicken run, make sure you can walk in it to get the chickens. Because, whoops. This is what happens. And we're gonna have to have a better design. Maybe I should sell this one and start over.